The machine is surrounded by stacks of blue crates and rolls of fabric, the floor a patchwork of green and gray. Suddenly, the worker reaches toward the machine, her hand dangerously close to the spinning spool. The machine's arm moves swiftly, the metal glinting under the lights. Then, with a sudden lurch, the worker's hand is caught, pulled into the machinery. Her body jerks, a cry of pain lost in the noise of the factory. The machine continues its relentless motion, the worker's arm trapped. In the world of textile machinery and haste, safety is a fragile thread, easily snapped by a moment's oversight. The generator room is cramped and dim, its walls streaked with peeling paint. A faded green control panel stands at the center, scarred by years of use. A hand moves toward it, fingers steady, adjusting a switch with quiet precision. The dials flicker to light, a low hum rising as the generator stirs awake. Then, without warning, a blinding flash tears through the room, an arc of electricity lighting every corner. The hand jerks normal. back, but the moment has already broken. In the world of high voltage, electricity doesn't forgive. One careless touch can turn routine into disaster. Safety isn't a suggestion. It's the only barrier between control and catastrophe. In an industrial workshop, a massive circular lathe dominates the floor, its polished surface catching the light surrounded by scattered tools and debris. Without warning, the lathe accelerates, its heavy disc spinning fast, humming with a low, dangerous growl. The worker below steps back carefully as the speed climbs. Above, a sudden slip. His fall is fast, brutal. He strikes the spinning disc, his cries drowned by the roar of metal. The second worker rushes forward, panic twisting his face, but the machine doesn't slow. The disc keeps turning, relentless. In this world of steel and speed, every second is risk, every oversight a thin line between control and catastrophe. The bike shop is cramped and cluttered, its walls lined with tools, spare parts, and rows of hanging tires. The sharp scent of rubber and metal lingers in the air under the harsh white light overhead. A man in a gray shirt and shorts works on a yellow mountain bike mounted on a repair stand, its wheels spinning lazily as he makes careful adjustments. A sudden, sharp hiss cuts through the air, followed by a violent bang. The tire explodes, a blast of air and debris ripping through the shop. One small oversight can turn a routine fix into a violent break. In a world built on force and precision, safety isn't optional. It's the only line between control and chaos. The highway intersection thrums with movement under the harsh midday sun, its asphalt gleaming and the traffic lights glowing red against the bright sky. A white utility truck is parked beneath the signals, its cherry picker arm extended high, cradling a worker in the bucket. He's focused, precise, adjusting the light above the busy road. Then, a white semi-truck swings left through the intersection. Its clearance is misjudged. The trailer clips the cherry picker's arm with a brutal metallic impact. The bucket lurches violently, tilting toward open air. The worker is slammed against the side, his body hanging dangerously over the edge. The traffic light shakes, its red glow unwavering in the chaos below. Shouts rise as the crew rushes in, faces tight with urgency, scrambling to regain control. On the highway, one miscalculation can turn routine into disaster. Every turn, every clearance, every second matters. Because gravity doesn't wait, and traffic doesn't forgive. The construction site is a narrow alley, its walls lined with aged brick, and the air heavy with the scent of damp mortar. A scaffolding built from thin metal frames and worn planks looms unsteady against the tight space. Then a small shift, a misplaced step. The scaffolding groans, metal creaks under the strain. In an instant, the platform tilts, planks slide. The structure collapses with a violent crash, pressing the worker steadying the scaffold in the bottom. 
by sheer luck, he escapes serious injury. In the world of scaffolding and height, luck is not a safety plan. One slip can turn seconds into disaster. Safety isn't a formality. It's the only line between a close call and tragedy. The electrical substation is a cramped, enclosed space, its gray metal walls echoing a steady hum of power. A worker stands on a small platform, hands reaching toward a faded green control panel covered in switches and circuit breakers, its surface worn by years of use. He adjusts a switch carefully, the dials flickering as the system stirs to life. Then, without warning, a blinding flash cuts through the room, an arc of electricity exploding outward. The worker is thrown back, stumbling as the force jolts through the room. Flames creep along the panel's edge, the substation swallowed in chaos within seconds. In high voltage work, there are no second chances. One careless movement can turn routine into disaster. Electricity doesn't warm, it reacts. Safety isn't optional, it's survival. The construction site is a narrow street hemmed in by a high wall on one side and a row of houses on the other. A yellow excavator dominates the center, its long arm stretched out like a mechanical limb, the operator visible through the cab's dusty window. Four workers stand nearby, their eyes fixed on the machine. The bucket scrapes against the trench wall, shaking loose chunks of soil that crumble into the pit. Then it happens. The ground beneath the machine collapses with a deep cracking roar. A violent rush of dirt erupts, swallowing the trench in a blinding storm of debris. The excavator tilts dangerously, its weight fighting gravity. The workers scatter in panic, their shouts drowned by the chaos. Dust fills the air, thick and choking, the scene transformed in seconds from routine to near disaster. On unstable ground, even the strongest machine can fall. In construction, safety isn't a guarantee. It's the only defense against the Earth itself. The construction site is loud and tense under the harsh midday sun. Dust hangs thick as a yellow excavator stretches its arm toward a cracked wall. Two workers with yellow helmets stand nearby watching chunks of concrete break loose and fall into a muddy trench. Then the wall groans, the ground shifts, the excavator tilts, its weight fighting gravity. In an instant, the wall collapses, a thunderous crash shaking the site. Dust and debris explode outward, swallowing everything in a blinding cloud. The workers are engulfed, their figures lost in the chaos. In this world of machines and unstable ground, safety is a threat, thin, fragile, and unforgiving when it snaps. The construction site is a narrow trench, its walls of loose soil and rock casting long shadows in the late afternoon light. A worker stands at the bottom of the trench, his hands gripping a shovel as he clears debris. Above him, a yellow excavator looms, its arm extended downward, the bucket poised to scoop soil. Suddenly, with a sudden lurch, the bucket swings wildly, striking the trench wall. Soil cascades downward, burying the worker up to his waist. The excavator's arm continues to flail, the bucket crashing against the trench walls, sending more dirt and debris tumbling. The worker struggles, his cries lost in the chaos as the trench collapses around him. In the world of trenching and heavy machinery, the earth does not forgive, and safety is a fragile thread, easily snapped by a moment's oversight. 